Hello everyone, so we are at the last part for our NPTEL July session and today I gonna discuss about all the courses which are available in NPTEL July session for AI, embedded system, robotics, IoT. But as an electronics engineer, why should we consider any AI courses? You can consider AI or machine learning, they are not a specific domain, they are actually a tool. For example, we have Caesar, right? A doctor could use their Caesar for the surgery purposes but at the same time a hairdresser will use some other kind of scissor for hair cutting but tool is the same so likewise AI is a just a tool so you might be interested to be a VLSI engineer but AI plus VLSI is a deadly combination and likewise for any tech domain embedded or robotics AI is very necessary and in future for sure AI will dominate and we all need to have some knowledge about AI so stay with me I'll explain you which courses is best for you according to your situation. If you are a BTEC student then which one or if you are currently doing your VLSI job then which course you should pursue. So let's get started. So this first course is introduction to machine learning and as name suggests this course is for you if you have never taken any courses on AI or machine learning. This is taken by IIT Madras and for this you only need some basic programming knowledge and some mathematics knowledge like linear algebra or probability and to sharpen your coding skill you can explore YouTube or you can explore NPTEL also see my this video here I have explained which courses are currently available in the NPTEL for registration so in this course they would be largely introducing to you the world of machine learning through one of the machine learning domain and that is called supervised machine learning so regardless of your position you are might be a UG student or PG student or you are doing your PhD or you are in the industry if you have never taken any AI course then this course is must for you then we have these two courses first one is your reinforcement learning reinforcement machine learning is one of the best way to make your machine learn because this is the exact way in which we tend to learn during our childhood for example cycling how we learn cycling we keep on doing mistakes we fall here and there but one day we started to ride our cycle successfully and the same way if you mimic this thing to make your machine learn then we call this reinforcement machine learning and these have a wide application in robotics in autonomous flying vehicles or autonomous car or anything which you may want to make them autonomous or have their own intelligence and for this you need to have your mathematics strong and for that you need to have a linear algebra course there and also probability and needless to say you need to know the coding and the third course is your pattern recognition and application and this course would be a prerequisite for one of the course which will come later and you can consider this course as, as the introduction to deep learning also see if I say what is this you can exactly say this is my hand because our brain are trained for that but if you tell your machine or your computer to tell them what is this they don't know it right so we need to form some vector which is in mathematical form and which could help the machine to know that yeah it is a hand so in this course we will learn that technique like if we have an image or any pattern how to form vector out of that and vector means the numerical representation of that pattern so in this course you will be having a high emphasis on mathematics again linear algebra and probability and your coding skill so this second and third course you can take if you know little bit about machine learning or AI already and this is again if you are UG also if you have time you can register or PG or in other stage of your life so now next two courses are advanced level courses for AI and machine learning domain and recommended that if you are a senior UG student or you are in PG or you are in your PhD or you are doing job then only you can take up these courses. So the fourth course is your course on deep learning or advanced deep learning for computer vision and that's why it's a great if you want to go to your autonomous driving there because it have a great application there. So for this you need to have a deep learning intro course so you can take third course which could be considered as introduction to deep learning learning for this you need to again need to have your linear algebra calculus your probability very strong and also a introduction to machine learning course so here they will be spending their lot of time to apply deep learning in some practical project so the fifth course is your applied accelerated 
artificial intelligence for that obviously you need to know the introduction courses like introduction machine learning and also you need to have a strong command on your computer organization and this course is jointly taken by IIT Palakkad and also by NVIDIA and here they will be taking the AI for the industrial cases like healthcare smart city and you probably know the smart city will be the future of every city so this course have a lot of potential to make you employable to those sectors and you can also see the industry support and NVIDIA is supporting this course so that means in the semiconductor industry also we need the ML engineer or AI engineer and needless to say in robotics also we need this skill so now the sixth and seventh course are exclusively if you are gonna go for a embedded system design engineer or that domain so here in both of the, these courses they will be dealing largely on practical aspect like developing your Arduino Uno boards probably you need to buy a Arduino Uno board which is very cheap already also you need to have a programming concept on C or C++ or Python because in below course they would be dealing with the Python so these two courses are very great if you are a embedded enthusiast people and these two courses can be taken by anyone because they don't have much of prerequisite so no problem and you can see the industry support so all the major semiconductor company they want this skill right and our last course is the introduction to robotics and you only registered to this course if you are really serious about robotics because robotics is actually an interdisciplinary course right you need to have some mechanical skill your electrical skill and computer science skill computer science skill will come from your machine learning courses right electrical skill will come from your other circuit courses and mechanical skill because we are not familiar with that so in this course they will take up this three thing they will introduce you a few basic mechanical aspect of building a robot so that in future if you want to pursue a career of robotics engineer then you can build upon onto those courses so only take up this course if you are in your BTEC and you have a large interest on to be a robotics engineer in MTEC it's not suggestible because you have a very less amount of time and if you are in PhD and if you have some time and you want to explore this robotics field also in future then you can take up this course and obviously if you are in your industry you can welcome to take this course and one thing you must remember that 1 August 2022 is the last day to register for all these courses and every courses I discussed on part 1 and part 2 so don't miss that deadline and from today's video we might be having another question that yeah I have said that AI is the future robot those then while the VLSI industry is standing do VLSI have any future or AI will take up the VLSI field also this is a deep question and we need to go more depth into this concept but still I have one of the video here and there I try to give you some idea about relation between AI and VLSI click into this video and I'll see you in the next video until then you can like this video if you have gained something and subscribe to my channel if you haven't Tata, bye bye.